Hey, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve a good green screening setup using only the lights you have in your house. Now there are a lot of green screening tutorials on the internet from places like Video Copilot and Tube Tape and also YouTube channels such as Film Ride and Corridor Digital. However, none of these go over from start to finish ultra low budget green screening. Also, the footage will be shot using a standard definition camera. The first thing that we need is a location. Ideally, your location should be a place that's already being illuminated by lights that you have. For me, this is right here. We have two ceiling lights plus a ceiling fan with three lights in it. These lights provide a good starting point and offer decent illumination. If you can, wrangle up a few lights like these that can help light up the back of the green screen or act as a fill light. For this green screen and setup, I just used a couple of pieces of the duct tape at the top, middle, and bottom of my green screen just to hold it to the wall. Also, you're going to want to try and get your green screen tight to eliminate creases that could cause shadow. You're also going to want to keep your subject as far in the front of the green screen as possible to eliminate green spill. Also, you can always hang up your green screen outside, which works well, but then you don't have control of the lighting and you're also at the mercy of the weather. Overcast days are great for this, though. We've got a lamp on either side of the green screen lighting it up and three sets of house lights lighting the subject up for a total of only 10 standard lights. Of course, if you have better lights than these, you can always use those. If possible, you want to get a backlight between your subject and the green screen. And this should be low enough to stay out of the shot, but it should shine up onto the green screen, eliminating shadow caused by your other lights. However, this is not essential, and I've almost never had a proper backlight. When lighting your green screen, you're going to want to try and get your lighting as even as possible. One thing to keep in mind for future shoots when you have better lighting is if you're trying to put your subject into a specific background, you're going to want to take a look at the lighting setup of your background image or video, and then try and duplicate their lighting setup with what you have. As far as which is better, a green or a blue screen, neither is better. It all depends on what your subject is wearing. If your subject is wearing a color that's close to green, use a blue screen, and vice versa. Also, you don't need a green screen. Any green sheet or blanket will work just fine. Also, plain green fabric works great. Ideally, you're going to want to get something that's brighter green than this, but this works just fine. So now let's move on to the post-production portion of this tutorial where I'll show you how to key this green out in Sony Vegas and also After Effects. Here we have got the $94 version of Sony Vegas, so anything I do in here should translate nicely to the other versions that you may have. So, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and import my footage, my test clip, and my background. Both of these elements are available in the download link in the description, so if you do not have any footage, you can use these to practice with. So, first, you're probably going to notice that our footage is being letterboxed by our project settings, so go up to Project, Properties, change the pixel aspect ratio to 1.21, which is what this footage is, and you can see it adjusts nicely. So now we're going to go and key out the green. Go to Chroma Keyer, Green Screen, and just left click and hold and drag and drop. Then you can see we're getting a pretty bad key here, so go ahead and drop the low threshold, high threshold down, excuse me, and bring the low threshold up to right about there. And then we're going to go ahead and play with the color a bit. Increase the blue, decrease the green by a little bit. Just play with it, see how it looks. You can see it's looking pretty jagged around the edges, so go ahead and add a slight buller, maybe 0 0.05. And if you scrub through our footage, you can see that I is actually looking pretty good. We've got a pretty decent key, and we did it pretty quickly. So that is basic keying in Sony Vegas.